Hello and welcome to Heritage Farmers. This is episode 10 and in this episode we're going to go continue going through the trials and tribulations of our first summer harvest and we're going to showcase a new well a system of making a little bit of extra money from uh, from each harvesting contract uh, in that we are going to be collecting the straw and selling the straw so we're going to use the happy small baler and we connect it up to our to a trailer to a self-loading trailer and basically the the bales will just self-load on the back of of the lizard trailer basically <laughs> why could I not think of what it was called <laughs> oh dear yeah so um, I've been transferring it out to the field with the uh, with a small messy but I don't think it'll be able to pull it um, so I pretty much know it won't be able to pull pull it up some of the hills at any consistent speed particularly once the bales stop drop, start dropping onto the trailer so in the last episode we went through the trials and tribulations of being able to deliver um, the the um, crop from the fields that we were working on and had to buy a new trailer um, so we oh well we just got to continue with it. it so far the whole month of June has been slightly frustrating um, I suppose it's working with the old equipment now I'm going to try with the With the Fiat, I think it's got enough grunt to be able to pull this around. Um, we're going to struggle a little bit, of course, with the turning circle again. Um, with the agility of the Fiat, the agility is pretty much non existent, so. Um, but yeah, it'll certainly pull it around. And this is all additional income, so. Um, the people that we're working for are not too worried if we if we leave some straw in the field because it'll just plow be plowed into the field afterwards so um, but if we can make a couple of grand on each field by selling some straw that we can collect all the better because um, you know the contracts we do are pretty small so our income that we make is quite limited really it's sufficient to keep growing. Um, I mean, we have got quite a few p more pieces of equipment. We've got the little um, vegetable patch as we're going down on the left-hand side. You can see that there's some some pellets to be delivered, and we'll do that at the end of this um, episode. We'll make sure that those get in. It's probably going to need a bit of topping up. So, we're at, um, towards well, pretty much the last thing that we'll do is um, in this episode is um, go and get that sorted out before before we close off for the month and then I'm pretty sure we'll have some more contracts and hopefully we'll have our system operating a little bit better for the next month for our other harvest fields yeah the, turning circle is not it's not great on this we'll just have to make do um, we could put the oh, we can't put the farm all on because um, I didn't show it but um, the farm all can't for some reason the connections that we have on the farm all that do well does not work with uh, this baler so it's either the Massey or the um, or the fiat that need to be done and of course the masses would underpowered for this job so 
fiat it is and we just collect what we can we'll do what we can um, we don't want to go into we want to collect as much straw from the various jobs as possible um, but it doesn't have to be a a hundred percent collection if you get what I mean I'm not too worried with leaving a little bit of straw on the field just um, to be um, to aid in moving our contracts forward and getting paid because obviously we as soon as we get paid we um, we don't really have access back to the fields well, we don't have access to back to the fields to um, to actually bail the the bales but of course we can go and collect bales that are already baled so yeah we will this is a bit of a um, a work in progress is nothing it is a work in progress but um, it's a bit of an experiment it's a bit of a um, a start to to find our feet on how we're going to manage this with the equipment that we've got of course with modern day equipment we could just put big balers on and, uh, and we'll whiz up and down on this and uh, it may I don't want to introduce too many steps so I mean I could put the windrow on yeah and we could windrow these up but that's a whole new step so it's, it, it might be something to look at but over the next um, of, over certainly this month and next month so this episode and the next episode perhaps we'll have a look at different um, different ways of collecting the straw just so that we can ma maximize our, our summer time basically but it does work rather well Of course you get small bales, but um, given our circumstances and the size of our machinery, that's pretty much okay. You know. There are some older, big round balers, so we will look at those as we go along, but um, this was fairly cheap to, to purchase initially. And uh, yeah, so there are some other vintage balers that will make bigger bales. And, We'll have a look at that as we, what we do need is we need to get another more, well, another tractor that's um, slightly more nimble than the Fiat, but also slightly less vintage than the Farmall. The Farmall is a brilliant machine, but it does, of course, have a, a few limitations with regard to connections as we have found but that's uh, you know that's just something that we will deal with but right now this is working fairly well quite happy the way it's been going we will jump forward a little bit every now and again um, just to show you the progress that we are making we'll do some jump cuts because it's quite slow going at the speeds that we can get with these um, with these pieces of equipment we'll, we'll catch these other little bits and pieces at the top at a later stage when we tidy up the field, as you can see there's some places where the workers have missed. It's probably got to do with trying to get around the tree. Of course I was doing this, I started this job while we were still busy doing some of the other harvesting, so occasionally you will see uh, and I just split it up into two different videos um, to because I wanted to show the problem and how we sorted out the problem with the 
um, with the delivery. Yeah, so the top speed is not great on that. Just to quickly show you that we are still doing some other, well, our, our other field, which I think is field 13. Um, which is also very near to the farm. It's just the other side of the farm as such. Right, so we just about got a full load. And I think, yeah, there's probably one more pass and we'll have a full load. It does take a lot of bales. It's over 100 bales. Looks like it's going to be 105 bales or so. As you can see, there are little spots that have been missed. And as mentioned earlier, I'm not particularly worried about that. We're not going to stress too much about getting that. And collecting every bit of straw. It's not a particularly high, f high value product per bale as such. But because of its volume, it's probably collecting the straw is probably going to match if not exceed the actual value of the contract if we can do that on every on every harvest field where we are able to of course there's some that we won't be able to um, then um, that is the way we will go right so, so we'll just get this unhitched and then we'll Hitch up the trailer and we'll go and deliver that. We don't have very far to go to deliver it, just um, up at the top we can either take it to the to the co-op or we can take it to the to the animal dealer. Yep. He's struggling, even the Fiat is struggling with the weight a little bit. So we'll unhitch it and then um, get that up to the to wherever we can make some money from it. <laughs> That's the object, isn't it? I mean, we we ourselves don't need any uh, straw at the moment, as we buy up the other little farms around the area. We will. We won't have huge animals um, in stock, but we will have some. But just to add a bit of added interest to the um, to the to the whole museum, we'll just park that off there, ready. And let's go and get this delivered. See how much we make quite interesting to see how much we make really because we've still got most probably another third of a trailer so we've probably got another 30 bales still on this field I think it's about uh, 60 euros a thousand litres Got to go just up this hill here. Oh dear, here we go. Oh, the frustrations are continuing. The Fiat doesn't have the power to pull this trailer up on its own. I fear we're going to have to take two, maybe do half loads on this trailer. It just won't go over the top. Maybe if we can wiggle our way around on the grass, uh, that's not working either. Um, yeah, there's no other place we can deliver them except going up the hill, because they can only be delivered to straws and it can only be taken at two places. Uh, I think in the future we may need to get a delivery point put into the farm area. 
um, if we're going to continue with this field or maybe I'm, I'm loath to do that because then we're getting into getting away from our maybe we just won't be able to collect straw but there's got to be a way to be able to get up here I mean we can take a bit of a run up the hill and get to the top we just have to get over this little incline here I think uh, what I'll do is I'll try and the farm will might have a bit more grunt just to pull that up um, we'll go and get that changed over because I think the farm all is at the on field 13 pulling the the um, grain cart or the grain trailer as we are wait a minute we're just about out of fuel on this tractor I wonder if that and it does need a little bit of a service that might be sometimes if your vehicle is a bit down on service it loses a bit of power maybe that'll help let's give that a try first if that fails we will pop down and change over on the far more Luckily I noticed that fuel um, fuel gauge just as I was coming past the fuel point. Uh, I was definitely down on my way to go and give this a lot more work and we've been traipsing around. We try not to run out of diesel. Alright, let's just get that serviced. It's not a huge amount to repair it, but then then again these old machines uh, the Mechanics are pretty simple, so they don't take a lot in terms of servicing. There's no complicated computer systems and... Very basic, basic machines, you know? Which is the way it should be. Well, let's give it one more go. See if we can get it up this little area here. As soon as I get to the what do you call it, just keep pushing the, <laughs> the trailer down the hill. Our trials and tribulations continue. We'll nip around, we're still about to get it on, I'm pretty sure. What I'll do is I'll take it down, we'll give it a little, we'll give it a little bit of willy and see if we can carry some momentum up this hill because we, did, we weren't going very fast really when we hit the bottom of the hill um, because the fuel was so close so we'll just double down here and we might have to go through our neighbor's field right let's take a let's take a run at it there's luckily a nice little I suppose you'll call it a, f f a false flat, a slight little upclimb, but we'll just give it a bit of a welly. Also, we probably took it a little bit easier around this corner as we're coming up. Are we going to make it go, 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 go? Yeah, there we go. So we'll take this up to the um, to the animal dealer. Oh no, there we go again. Well, it's only just a slight incline, but I must, it's a, yeah, we've got a hundred bales on there. <laughs> yes, we got a hundred and five bales on there. So I don't know whether I'm going to be able to turn this around here with the. Mm, no, doesn't look like it. Come on, man! This has been a frustrating month. It's just nothing is working. The old machinery is really, really testing us. It's also, I suppose, quite a, quite a little clever thing with the map building, and that um, 
you know, they haven't made it they've made things look pretty simple but these these little things that test if so to come up that way I should have just gone straight on and then come around the top to deliver that um, and that would have helped but because we slowed down again to take the turn we just didn't have the speed to get over the little slight in, in, incline but yeah in any case that's the way it is at the moment so we've got a trailer stuck there I think what we'll do is we'll nip down and go and get the farm all. Um, it's just a lot more manoeuvrable. Um, I'll probably be able to maneuver that trailer through the trees and turn it around. So the, um, the farm all, as I said, is on field 13, working on the um, on the delivery of the. Oats, I think it was, or um, wheat, I can't remember what it was oats, but in any case the product that um, that needed to go in the grain mill. Oops, stop for one car and then nearly crash with the other one. <laughs> uh, that field is not far from finished, looks like there's another load to be done. So we'll just change over the tra track this first, I'll get that done. That was but we'll concentrate just on sorting out this um, this problem with our with our straw deliveries. So we're having a lot of delivery problems. This is the real frustration. Perhaps what we will do in the future is just um, so might just put the baler on um, and then just bail to the ground basically and come back later and f uh, pick up the bales and we'll just do half loads half loads <laughs> half loads and um, and take them up to the to get delivered it's going to be a bit of extra work but yeah until we've got something with a, enough grunt to be able to pick up the full load and the ability to yeah so we're going to have to look for some more tractors so i think that's going to be our our next major buy is a a vintage tractor oh he doesn't like it either oh i just want to pull it up i'm just glad that it hooked up because um i hadn't checked out but yeah, as i as i mentioned it, it um the formal didn't I couldn't hook up to the um, to the actual baler. Otherwise, it would have been um, ideal for doing the the baling job. That got up there pretty easily. So this is what we should have done. We should have just come straight up here with the Fiat and uh, nipped around the corner because you can get into the to the animal dealer from the top here as well. well there's a little incline there which is taking rapidly taking off speed. Are we gonna get over the top before? Come on. Yeah, only just. Yeah, so maybe maybe we would have stopped, struggled with it yet. Well I mean, you've got to learn these things got to you know, live and learn I think is what they say. In this case it's play and learn. Well, let's just get this offloaded here. where the trigger is. Uh, here we go with my reversing problem. Uh, we'll just do a little loop. <laughs> so we'll just try and get a bit more speed going there on the other side when we come back in here. 
What a waste of diesel. You know, spend all our extra profit that we've made on uh, on collecting the straw um, on delivery costs. We, we are getting towards the end of the day. So we'll have to get a little bit of a move on and collect as much straw as we can. Let's just get this delivered. We've still got to go and do our vegetables as well before we finish off. Oh dear. It's just kept on pushing me. It didn't want to stop. I think we have to go around again. I hope you're having a good little chuckle with this. So we came in too hot there. Put a little bit of a, a few more dents into the farmall. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm sure you can hear the frustration in my voice. This is just not working out as planned. a little bit more than playing and learning. We are now playing and getting frustrated. <laughs> uh, so now I've taken a little bit too slow, have I? Come on. Come on. Yeah. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. Fantastic. Take it nice and slowly until we get into the trigger point now. We'll get that delivered and see how much we get for a load. Is it going to be worth the effort? I don't think it's going to make us awfully rich, but it's it's still income, you know. And when our income screams bring in relatively small amounts. There we go, how much are we going to get? Oh, that's 3,300 for a full load. I think if we just um, do half load, sort of 50 bales at a time, um, that should work out okay. Yeah. We will continue to do it. Um, we've just got to develop ourselves so that we know We'll have to drop off the trailer here and we'll have to go and swap, swap the tractors around again. We did utilize the Fiat in the meantime to, while well, we're struggling around there to continue the deliveries, but I fear we will have to put that back onto the, well, I don't fear, I know we'll have to put it back onto the baler. And we'll continue doing that. Um, and I think just to finish off this episode, we will. Yeah, we're going to need some. We've run out of seeds. Might as well put some more manure in. Water's still okay. Let's get these delivered. They're only going to be delivered around the corner. And immediately I can see that uh, we are sitting with the Fiat still on the, on the trailer. So that's going to be a bit tight delivering. We'll probably just have to reverse it in. Because of the tightness um, of delivering to um, Emma's farm shop. We'll just manhandle these. We'll get a couple of guys around to help us lift these up onto the trailer. Um, can't invest in the, what I should be doing is just putting, doing them individually. But we have got five, five pallets to deliver. That should bring in a nice tidy sum. Oops. Going to put these on. We think we just need to balance them out a little bit. Come on, guys, jump up there and just. We've got to get try and get all five of these on here. Yeah. Even if we had to put one or two on the top. Yeah, that's the way. Swing it around. We'll try and get two across the top. Two at the bottom. And one straddling them. Something along those lines. I don't know if you'll get. I don't know. Let's just see. Yeah, 
we're not going to get three in there, so... It's a nice little return on the... on the... Uh, that small piece of land that we bought. If we get a couple of pellets every of um, fruit and vegetables every month, pop them down, sell them through Emma's farm shop, which is just around the corner. So I said, you get one in the middle there. Yeah, that one will fit there. I don't think we'll get two. in the back part I think it's just too small I think the wheel the wheel arches will be in the way but we could get certainly one there and then put another one on the top something along those lines yeah we did buy this at the end of um, last month so it's had a well, a night and a full days with almost a full day's worth of production. We've got five, so I would imagine that we'll get between three and five pellets. We don't know when we ran out of seed, this is the thing, so we may not get five pellets next month. So we will. We'll, I don't think the seeds were full. They were, there was some seed in there which we didn't pay for which is quite good because this, this that we're getting in now is pretty much all already been paid for. Can't complain about that. Right, so let's just get this delivered around the corner. And then we'll put some seed in, put some manure in. I think that's where we'll end this episode. We will continue with collecting, with finishing off the harvest on field 13, collecting the bales from there, getting those up into, getting those sold, and then we'll most probably have another, at least another month of harvesting in July, maybe some harvesting in August as well. We've got to make the best of it, but I'm not sure whether all of them will be able to to deliver straw. It is a little bit of a pain collecting the straw, but if we're going to get um, 3,000 euros for, uh, over 3,000 euros for 100 bales, um, considering what we get for the doing the contract, that is a no-brainer. We will have to continue doing this. We'll have to pretty much do contract so that we can get the straw collected and sold. Of course it is small bales so they are getting, getting, getting sold on the retail market so people who have their own stables and such like always a lot more work. I'm just having nice big bales. getting the bell up nice and quickly. Yeah, they have to take it pretty carefully down here. It's pretty tight. Oops, are we getting here we Yeah it's delivering. Just wriggle it around there. Oops happened with the pellets there, we'll just go and shift them around, get them delivered. Just jump over the street furniture. <laughs> Hope the product is not too bruised. Ah, it's not too bad. Yeah, bank account's starting to look a little bit better. That. So it's going to have to be a daily priority, is just making sure that the vegetable patches is okay for supplies, for raw materials. Um, it's going to be fairly, fairly 
lucrative and consistent every month I would think so we need some seeds and water was okay and then we get to top up the manure as well because it'll just run out during the course of the next month's production so it's going to get that bought and taken up start with the seeds I think we'll put in two or three bags of seeds there I think we can get big bags for these the trailer can take 3,000 litres so three bags we'll put a full full trailer load of seed in seed is relatively inexpensive and then um, no we don't need four it means we'll have to come back or I suppose we could put it into storage but not going to worry too much about that now. This should also load into here. Well, load into here, so I said take it out the bags, yeah. We've got the wrong tractor on here, we should have the... should have the Massey on here. I'm not sure it'll pull this trailer with 3,000 litres up the little hill as we go back up the hill. We might get them changed over at the top if we're struggling to, um, to manoeuvre the trailer into the, into the seed delivery area. It is quite tight. Right at the front here, so we should be able to just get into the trigger point. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. A little bit further back, maybe. Yeah, there we go. That's not. That's okay. But we will go in. <laughs> the uh, mess is just up the road. Yeah, we're going to need this to connect up to the baler the job that we'll be doing off camera. We've got the gist of how it's going to work. As I said I'm going to just bail without the, without the collection trailer on and then we'll just sip around and collect the, the bales after that. We'll do a delivery run as such and um, to sort of get between 45 and 60 bales on the trailer and run those up to the to wherever they need to be delivered just so that we don't run into too many problems with trying to get the full ones up there I suppose we could get the full one up there if we just delivered to the co-op or to the I keep forgetting what it's called it's delivery point just as, just as you come into the little industrial area there I don't know why I didn't deliver it with the man. I think I've got I caught my eye caught the messy <laughs> and uh, just decided that it's what we needed to do because I think we were in the in the trigger area. Right, there we go. Must have been a bit close to the back fence when we opened up the trailer. <laughs> there we go, it's set to live it. Now we need to sort out the manure. We've got a uh, little manure station that we will be able to put in. We will be buying in manure, of course.
Might just have to pop down to the farm to get that sorted out. What time are we at now? Yeah, it's still getting on for 8 o'clock at night. It's that time of the year where the sun is still shining. was going to buy in bags of manure and then decided that um, I'd put in a manure point. We'll get it delivered up to the um, to the gardens. We have a little collection point there and then one of the other local farmers just pops in and drops off manure and um, I just pay, pay him for it as and when we use it. Nice little arrangement, works out fine for both of us. He has a place to take his manure. Right. And as it turns out, we couldn't buy any manure from the shop in any event. Let's get this sorted out. So we need to have a little collection area which is symbolized by this trailer, you know, trailer um, wheelbarrow. We can just get it to the right spot. <laughs> just around the corner here. Here we go. Just about to... It should fit in just on the other side of the fence here. Here we go. And then we can pull in the trailer on the other side and it'll load it up nice and easily. Luckily we're not too far away <laughs> from the it's just, just to add to the frustration of this whole day. Trying to work out where we can get manure from. <laughs> I thought we were about to get it in big bags. But then again, before we even tried to look to see what, whether we could get it in big bags, I kind of made up in my mind that we would get this sorted out with the delivery. Just wanted to compare the pricing, but this this is pretty reasonable. So we'll just load it up here and then just go and put it into the onto the actual allotment as such. It's the last thing we really need is the is the manure. Night is starting to draw in now, getting just after eight o'clock. As I said before, we go to we will be working into the night um, with the rest of the harvest, finishing off field 13 and collecting the straw from each field, getting that delivered. then we'll start all over again in July. Well there we are, that's that done and I think that's where we're going to end this episode. We'll catch you in July when we'll go through a lot of this type of operation again, see if it works any smoother, see if we pick up any problems. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it please like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!